M0FXB, just a quick one here, DTMF on. This is the D99 DMR radio. You wouldn't have really seen these. I don't think anyone, I don't think I've seen one in the world on YouTube. So it's a D99 DMR VHF UHF. Nice color screen on receive. It goes green on TX. It goes red. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Look, we're on 91 there. So what I want to show you is DTMF. So here we are on my hubnet node and we've disconnected by pushing that red button. We're all we're disconnected on our node. Uh, this is this is called Node Remote, this app by TechMinds, good app. Uh, and I use the All-Star node for Hubnet, made by G7RPG. So let's just show you the DTMF. I know it works. I might have to give it a couple of goes, but it does work because I've tested it. So we'll go to the B band with the star on this radio. And if you want to know how to go VFO and memory mode, you just hold down the red button. You can see that it will receive one at a time. It will automatically select. The other good thing about this radio is if you key, it's got two PTTs. So if you key Victor on the, on the top PTT, it will automatically select the A band and vice, and it will automatically select the B band. So let's turn it down. Let me just start. I'll just unplug my hotspot a minute because you can hear that coming through. And we're just seeing DMR numbers really. So anyway, we're on the frequency simplex. We've got the tone in. This is the, I have put this in using my code plug. Although you can manually dial this radio with analog stations. Now you can put most of the information in for digital, but I'm having problems entering the contact group that it will use when I key. I'm sure there's a way, but I haven't worked that one out yet. Anyway, stop going on. Let's put the DTMF in. It's lit. It's literally as simple as as keying the mic and typing the the code and the number. So we're going to key the, the PTT number two because we're on the B band here. We're going to key it, hold it down. It goes red and we're going to go star three, four, one, five, two, two. Maybe I should have turned it up so you could hear it. Connected to M0FXB. You see that? So, already in this mode. so let's cancel it again. Let's just disconnect. Like I said, node remote. This is about six pound. You can use the G7 RPG one, which is free. Uh, just uses the browser. Anyway, we just disconnected. Let's type in echo test. So we're going to go to star five nine PTT number two. Star five nine. That's not going to get us into echo test. Or maybe it will. I think that's echo test. Let's try. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo echo test. Playback. Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo echo test. There you go. It wasn't the best audio because I'm talking quite away from the radio. So that's pretty good. I'll just show you a couple more features here. I will show it in more detail in the in days to come. But for now, we're just having a little play. So look. A band is the little star here. A, B. VFO, if I hold it. Got to hold the red button down. Let's have a look now. Yeah, look, we can now change the frequency. It's 2 meters 70. I'm pretty sure it does PMR. I was able to put, I was able to put the frequencies in for PMR. Let's get a bit closer to it. We can zoom in a bit better. Right, what else? Um, settings, hit the green button and we've got, we can select a zone and I have put these in. So enter with the green button. There's a few zones that I've created, as you can see. Just selected one there. If we go to the A section, you have a different menu when you're in analog. So let's have a look here. Now we're in, there you are. Now, if you want to program sort of change from DMR to D-Start, so to analog, go menu, go up one to set, enter, then go down to radio. I'm not sure what CFG stands for, but we'll enter it. We start at the top. It's just our RX, TX frequencies, name, color code. That's for DMR, of course. Slot, shift uh, for repeaters. Frequency step, channel, t now this is the one, channel type, then we hit enter. Why is it not letting me? It's probably because I'm, maybe I have to be in VFO mode, because I'm in my code plug, aren't I? So let's go down one more. So we back out. 
come out of channel mode. Yeah, so let's enter. Yeah, because you can see the channels are changing as we hold then. So if we hold down the red, we're now in VFO mode. Now let's go back to that menu, green button, set. Not really, not the clearest image, is it? Set. Radio CFG. Let's go down to channel type. Enter and look. FM and DMR. So you can change. I think that's enough for now. I've been playing around with this radio all day. The 73, but uh, I like it. You know, it's a budget radio, twin PTT, programmable buttons. You know, it's it's you know it's not an RT three S or RT three or or eight seven eight. It it does program via a micro USB and has a, a three point five jack for the headphones. So I've literally had it a few hours. I've been tinkering with it. I had a big problem getting the USB to install on my Windows ten Windows eleven PC because the software they're giving you is out of date. And so it uh, doesn't have a signature, as they say. And I had to tell it not to use the signature to, to load up. But then every time I rebooted, it went back. So that's my biggest problem. I had to find an older laptop with Windows 10 that hadn't had all of the updates. And then I was able to program the radio. So a bit of a bit of a palaver, but got there in the end. Bye for now, 73. Thanks for watching my channel.